guys, Kelly here for another coach tip of the day. Okay, today I'm gonna talk about setting small goals in various areas of your life instead of um, either not setting goals at all or setting huge goals with multi-steps um, in too many, spread out in too many areas so that you never do it or powering down in one, only one area and having this really big goals that um, then it feels lopsided because you're just constantly thinking about one area of your life. Okay, here's an example. I'm gonna use my own life, okay? One of the things about myself that I don't like is that when I am going to do something that isn't like my most favorite thing, for example, right now I'm driving to work again, um, I don't leave enough time. And like right now, I'm probably gonna be a couple minutes late. Great, right? My goal for that area of my life, because let's face it when you're late you're stressed things go wrong if I meet a truck on the road or construction I'm gonna be even more late not a good thing right um, problems at work communicates that you don't care also this is the same thing that happens sometimes for my appointments with people which I do want I am excited about because the habit has been formed for me to always be running a little bit late on the cuffs, trying to do one more thing at the end at home before I get into the car, that kind of thing, okay? So that's spilled over into the other areas of my life that I actually do love. Not that I don't like my job, but you know what I'm saying, I'm going to work, okay? So here's my thing with this. I'm trying really hard to tell myself when I'm leaving the house, which is prematurely early, so that then I can then go and be, um, you know, on time or five minutes early or something like that and try to alleviate the stress. That's one area of my life. Another area is something for my fitness. Something I've noticed is that I um, have kind of been sabotaging my results a little bit by just going after work with friends um, and having like a beer or two beers or a couple pieces of pizza or something. Now, I like to have a beer sometimes. I like to have wine. I like to have pizza. There's a great little spot in my town, but doing that three or four times a week or even two times a week, that's not helping my goals. I've got some big goals for my fitness and, you know, it's kind of sabotaging and then I don't see the results and then I get discouraged and I feel, you know, whatever, all the shame and all that stuff that you feel when you're not doing what you want to do and know that you need to be doing. Okay. So, um, that's one area of my life, um, that I'm, you know, deciding I'm going to maybe go one, one day after work or one weekend even, or maybe not at all for a while because I want to be able to go, Hey, I can go out and not have a beer, right? Like I need to know that for my own self and my own emotions and my own mental state. And as well as, um, just, you know, forming new habits, not spending money on going out when I really have other things I need to be doing, like saving for the Honolulu marathon and things like that. Okay. So that's another area of my life. Um, so those are two things. Another thing I've noticed is that I've been getting up and trying to get all these things done. Sometimes I don't get my workout in the morning. I have to double up in the afternoon. And I'm also not doing the spiritual reading that I want to be doing for my own personal development. And then that just kind of sets my day off. So I've now decided I'm going to get up and the pattern of things that I'm going to do in the morning. One of the first things, of course, I have to get up and give Henry his food, my little dog, and his walk because, you know, that's what he needs his breakfast. But then I need to do a little bit of spiritual reading and also then do my workouts and just leave a lot of other stuff. You know, I need to either prepare the night before with my posts for my business on Facebook and stuff like that, or I need to leave it for later. And, you know, the different things that I need to get back to, people's comments and questions over the, over the course of the evening that I haven't gotten to. I mean, those are all screaming at me in the morning, but hey... The, the point is that prioritizing things instead of letting everything push out, you know, what your priorities are into the urgent um, of things for the day. Um, and then also just not letting those little tiny habits sabotage you. For example, what I was saying about going out and having the beer and pizza or um, things like that, or even just communicating to people that you don't care because you're late all the time. Okay, so those are some, some of my thoughts today, my own personal examples, and I hope that helps you. And just pick a few areas of your life um, that you would like to improve some things on and just choose something small. Okay, you guys have an awesome day. Bye.